Hi guys, I just bought this, the cheapest C63 coupe in the country. Now the C63 AMG came out in 2008 and featured a naturally aspirated 6.2 V8. Yep, they lied. But as soon as the car came out, it was a massive hit with car fans all around the world and is still the dream car of most people, including myself. Now ask any of us, what is it about this car that we love? And we'll all say the same thing, the noise. Now the exhaust of this car is pure. There's no butterfly valves in there. There's no technical magic going on to try and make it sound nice. It's just a 6.2 V8 hooked up to the AMG Sports exhaust and it sounds wild. Now, unlike the American pushrod V8s, which produce a lot of noise, a bit of torque, but really no power, this handcrafted by one individual person, German built V8, produces somewhere between 460 and 500 brake horsepower, resulting in a not 60 time of around 4.4 seconds. Now, in 2012, when this car was new, this was over 60,000 pounds. And frankly, like most of us, I wasn't in a position to buy a car with that kind of money. But now, thanks to depreciation, you can pick a car like this up for less than 20,000 quid. Because of coronavirus, I had to buy this car sight unseen and actually bought it from another country. So this car was listed for sale in Scotland and I live in the middle of England. But this car was so cheap and looked so nice from the photographs that I just decided to take the plunge. So guys, I managed to pick this car up, a C63 AMG Coupe from 2012 for £15,900. Now that's still obviously a lot of money, but comparing this to its list price, it's the bargain of the century. Now as I say, this car was the cheapest in the country by a mile. If you look on eBay at the minute, there's one of these up for sale for £22,500. Now, £22,500 will buy you a C63 Coupe with only 53,000 miles on it. Thing is, this has got 51 on it for 15. So, I'm asking myself the same question you're asking. What's wrong with it? So, let's just check out what we can see straight away. So, straight away from the first angle, I can see that part of the grille on the inside is missing. So I don't know what's happened there, but I'm sure we can sort that out. Now these wheels clearly need a refurb because I don't think there's a single part of these wheels that hasn't been smacked. Looking here, we can see that there's quite clearly something of a severe score going through the front brake rotor. So we'll have to have a look into that. So another thing that I've noticed with this car is on the fob, you can automatically pop the boot. Well, mine doesn't work. Doesn't work. Also, the sunroof doesn't work. It doesn't even work going forwards. Thank <laughs> you. 
German engineering, eh? Now I know what you're thinking straight away. This can't be the cheapest C63 in the UK. I've seen them on the internet for like 12 grand. Well, yeah, that's true. But what I wanted was a C63 AMG Coupe, this model. Now I wanted that for a couple of reasons. Firstly, because in 2008, up until 2012, they only brought out the saloon version and that car had a lot of problems. So it would chew up its gearboxes and go through gearboxes like no one's business. And also the head bolts on the engine itself would corrode and completely ruin the engine. However, in the 2012, in the coupe version, it was all reworked. They put in a brand new seven speed gearbox and they also changed all of the head bolts to make sure they were stainless steel and couldn't corrode. Now the second reason I wanted a C63 Coupe is because what I have in store for this car. So hit that subscribe button, keep on watching and you'll see what this becomes. Okay guys, we have a problem. <laughs> first drive, first problem. There's a rattle. There's something definitely not right at the back of the car.